Good afternoon, long wanderer here. Um, I've not bought my tripod today. Um, I thought I might do a quick video because I needed to get out um, due to recent events in my life and um, a few personal reasons. So I just need to get out um, just to sort me out a bit. Um, so I'm here in my chill out spot. Not been uh, here since I bought my daughter last um, to do some artwork. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes it's good to get out. You know, if you've got a few problems uh, that you're dealing with in your life, um, it's very important just to just to get out, um, go for a walk, go for a walk in the woods, um, or just do what I do. Um, and just set a tarp up or if you've got a spot that you use regularly uh, like this one then just to come visit here have some dinner here spend a few hours here which i'm going to do today i think i'll zero around about um i think maybe half past 10 i can't remember between half 10 and 11 o'clock this morning i wish i was still here just chilling out and then just brushing up on some skills uh which is what i like to do when perfect time to do it you know um I did forecast rain today but i've not seen any uh, rain as such yet a few spots but nothing major so i'm just waiting for my pot noodle to um pot noodle to be ready uh, just put some hot water in as you can see so yeah um so yeah, just get out for a few hours. Um, I thought I might just, um, while I'm at it, um, just to show you a little, just a little technique if you're going out and about in the woods and let's say you want to make a ridge line and the early woods um, that's available to you at the time has got um, you know, thick trees uh, with thick trunks um, and you've not bought enough cordage with you to wrap around several times around the tree and then obviously do the other one as well. Uh, there is a little trick that you can, um, that I learned ages ago. I can't remember who taught me this uh, or where I learned it from. Um, it's basically using an anchor or anchoring or it's basically um, an old term. If, you, if, if you've heard the term um, drop your anchor, um, which is an old like shipmates um, term um, when you're working with ships and of course the navy so obviously dropping your anchor means you get your anchor you drop your anchor overboard and it anchors your ship in place um, and we can use things like that um, um, you know to make a ridge line for bushcraft so how do we do that so like I said if you're in a woods um, that's got thick tree trunks you suddenly realise you've not bought enough tree um, cordage, power cordage, whatever, uh, to wrap around a tree. So you can make yourself um, an anchor. Um, it's nothing complicated at all. Like I say, this is a very easy channel. Um, so yeah, or you want to, it could be used for quick deployment of a tarp. Um, if you're spending overnight, just a little overnight or somewhere. So basically, sorry, I'm going to try a body here, spare in a moment thing today. So, you need your paracord, or your cordage, whatever you use, and you need a good, strong stick. Now it's got to be, at least, at the bare minimum, it's going to be a foot length. It's going to be around a foot. Okay, no shorter than that, and it's going to be strong. So I think this is ash I'm using. Um, it's still green. Um, but it's, it's absolutely solid okay so how do we use this well the same way you'd use an anchor on a ship so if the wood that you're in I'm just going to turn the camera a second if the wood that you're in it's got thick tree stumps like this and like I say you haven't got enough cordage to go around both trees to secure a ridge line then it's 
just make a slip knot, put it around the stick, or you can make a uh, just any old loop really, as long as it secures it. I like to use a slip knot because it's nicely secure, especially when you pull on the line. And you're looking for anchoring points. Now, when I want to say anchoring points, I don't mean. <coughs> Let's just show you. You want to avoid, unless you use it for something else, you want to avoid these V cutouts, these V shape here. Okay, to do a ridge line because your anchor is going to go in between there and the thing is if it's if it's windy this can go through there and go vertical and go straight through it so we don't want vertical v shapes like this we want it look we're looking for a v shape in a tree low enough to do a ridge line or whatever you're using it for and it's set in an angle so for instance we can use this Okay, so this is a V-shape, this one here, and what can you get your stick or your anchor, drop your anchor in, in through there, stick through there like that, and secure it. Look underneath, make sure that it is secure. It's not 100% secure, move it. Okay, and now on there it's not going anywhere it's absolutely solid and then you, you can secure the ridge line to the other end and you, you you're using less cordage that way if you have not bought enough cordage to wrap around a tree a thick tree okay so as long as you've got a strong ankle point there at slight angle then you've got your ridge line you're halfway there then you just secure the other end let's find another one So, same with this here, we've got a vertical V, but we don't want to use that because it won't be secure enough. So, if we look at the side of it, we can probably use this bit here, okay? Now, this I know this is a thin tree, there's definitely enough cord to go around it, <coughs> I'm just using this as an example, okay? So, you can use this, so drop your anchor in. Might take a few attempts to do this. Drop your anchor in. Wait till you get a bite. Which it has. This one needs to be at least a foot. Okay. So as long as it's strong, your stick is strong. This way, stick needs to be strong, and then you're secure to do the other end. Okay. So that's one way of doing it. Okay, so it's called anchoring, so you're using your stick as an anchor. So it's just a quick video really, um, didn't really plan on doing a video today, um, due to unforeseen circumstances um, in my personal life, which I won't go into, um, but I just thought, you know, I've not done uh, anything like that for a while, so uh, I thought I should show you give you some ideas um, if you're stuck in a woods that's got like nothing but thick tree trunks but you have got some low uh, branches that you can use as an anchor so yeah find yourself a good strong stick it's got to be um, at least one foot in length so that you've got a good uh, fixed position um, to use as an anchor uh, if you use anything shorter than that there's, there's the chances are it, it can slip or move and then you've got your problems but your tarp coming over your head in the middle of the night or something so yeah hope that helps guys uh, there'll be a few tips um coming and going throughout the, 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 the few weeks um and when i'm up to it um i will be doing obviously my um, knife videos um bushcraft basics starting with um the knife module the, the knife series that i'm going to be doing um uh, which is tier one uh, i will be putting that together soon so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.